Crystal again from Osatium, Hatha Certified Yoga Instructor trained in Mysore, India. I'm here to spotlight a chakra, a couple poses related to it, and a corresponding sound frequency. If you missed the root and sacral chakra videos, make sure to go back and catch those. Today we're focusing on the solar plexus chakra or the Manipura. Manipura directly translates to city of jewels. The solar plexus chakra is the energy center that sits just above the navel in the center of the body where a bundle of nerves known as the solar plexus or celiac plexus is located. And it governs your personal power, your authenticity, and also your digestion. A little bit about the inside of the body here. The solar plexus is a bundle of nerves that sits right in the pit of the stomach and it's part of the sympathetic nervous system. It plays a big role in the functioning of the stomach, the kidneys, the liver, and adrenal glands. So when we say that the solar plexus is related to digestion, this is one of the reasons why. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a deeper dive into the chakras and the internal functions of the body that they correspond with. Let's get into the poses. Let's look at Navasana or a boat pose. You're gonna come into a seated pose with the knees slightly bent, feet flat. And you can bring the hands underneath the knees. If it feels good for you, you can clasp the hands together here. It gives you a little bit more, um, it gives you a little bit more traction to help pull yourself up. So we're gonna come up onto the toes first. And when you're ready, you're gonna begin to lift the feet completely and start to straighten the legs out. Now you can stop wherever you're comfortable. If there is a little bit of a bend here, this is okay, this is a variation. The goal is to get the legs straight out, arms out, in front of you, and straightened. Now in this pose, you're really activating the core. You can feel it almost immediately. You're working the abdominal muscles, the back muscles, all the way around to keep the legs lifted and to keep the chest lifted. We don't want to lean back so that we're falling down. So we wanna keep the chest up, closer to the thighs, keep those legs as straight as possible, and just really hold this. If at any point you need to grab under the thigh, you can do this you can hold here your core is still getting that work but if you want to take it all the way and really challenge yourself go ahead and make sure to do that our next pose is Ardha Matsyandrasana or half Lord of the Fish pose. This one is a seated spinal twist. Now for this pose, I'm gonna walk you through directions, um, right versus left, just to make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna pull the left foot into the body, cross the right leg over. If this is where you are, this is good. If you can bring that foot, closer in so that the toes are in line with that front knee, then that's great. If it needs to be out a little more, that's okay too. Work with where you are, work with your body at all times. So we have this left foot pulled in, touching the sit bones. We have the right foot crossed over, foot flat. And now we're just gonna lift and lengthen the spine. And we're gonna turn towards your right side, twisting the body at the hip, bring the right hand behind you, rest it down. And then with the head, you're gonna focus the gaze over that right hand. Now, this is a decent place to be. If you have more space, you can twist a little bit more. Make sure you're twisting at the middle of the body. And just another angle for you here, this lift is normal, but we wanna to try to press that right hip down into your mat. So we really focus on the midsection as we twist. Again, here we are. The traditional way to do this pose is bringing the left elbow onto that right knee. Now what this does is pulls the chest again into the thigh. So we're really compressing the midsection here and make sure you're really getting that pressure, that tension here in the belly. So you're working on all of the internal organs in there. We're gonna bring that elbow onto the knee and again, use that to twist a little more. Now make sure if you choose this pose that you remember to balance it out by doing the other side. 
Now, if you need to hop into a plank or a side plank, you know that's a favorite resting pose over here. You can go ahead and get into that or hold one of the previous poses as we move into our affirmations. We're gonna be listening to the sound frequency of 528 hertz. I stand in my personal power. I stand in my personal power. I stand in my personal power. I set appropriate boundaries and embrace self-discovery. I set appropriate boundaries and embrace self-discovery. I set appropriate boundaries and embrace self-discovery. Thank you for joining me. We will explore the heart chakra next. If you want to experience yoga and live sound bowls in a group setting and you happen to be in Atlanta or Decatur, then you can join me in Saint every first and third Sunday for sound bath Sundays. The link will be somewhere easy to find. <laughs> See y'all in the next one.